All right, guys, it's uh, fucking October and shit, so I figured I'll play this because this is like, if there's going to be a time, this is the time. And uh, particularly with fucking Pure Solar winding down, it makes fucking sense to play this or just start another fucking game. So, uh, yeah, and uh, I've never played this. I've watched a little bit of it, but, you know, whatever. So, uh, stuff I need to do first. I was hoping I could turn off the radio because there's like copyrighted songs and shit, and I'm hoping this video, then I'm hoping this video won't get taken down. But you know, if it does, it does. Whatever, I guess. Well, I don't know anything about the fucking. Game type shit, so I guess I'll do this. Eh, I'll be a dude. do martial arts, so I guess that. I probably just like get on the floor and panic like a bitch. Uh, but that was something that makes more sense. I mean, I won't know what to fucking do, so... So, I'm smart. I'm, I notice shit, I'm not that smart. Uh, I guess I'm clever. I'm ugly, motherfucker. Uh, manipulative, apparently. Yeah. I'm not very persuasive. Yeah, I'm not good at shit. But apparently I punch shit. And, uh... Hell yeah, hell. Alright. Oh, 
Okay. Actions you perform in the game. Example would be the feel of lock picking. Okay. Yes, yes, I get it. I'm crazy. All right. Okay, jeez. Seven is an R, right. Hacking is determined by wits, not intelligence, okay, whatever. Alright. I guess I'll accept. Okay. There we go. That's my name. I'm not going to think more about it. All right. Ass scream there. I got gauges. Uh, gauges are so ugly. Apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As Prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siren. Many of you have come to me seeking permission and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, 
The accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So. What I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Z, alright. Alright. It's disorienting. Alright. Alright. <laughs> what a scene, man. Ooh wee. <laughs> Better than just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, uh, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, Let's let me show you the ropes. What is that? All right. Where's my, I don't see my mouse anywhere. I don't see my mouse anywhere. Shit. All right, one, I guess. What? Oh man! And you're a goddamn mouse. Oh, I just hit too. buttons. All right. Wow. You really are fucked. I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Tell them I got about this much time. You wait her out. Youngsters these days. Well, you're a funeral, kiddo. Keep a couple things in mind before you go. 
Now these lessons aren't just for your benefit, so listen up. First, the masquerade. You're gonna be hearing a lot about this, so let me sum up real quick. Sure, you're a vampire. Great. Keep it to yourself, okay? It's easier that way, trust me. That's the masquerade. Keeping vampire secrets secret. Easy, right? Easy peasy. Now, if you violate the masquerade, if you run around spooking humans or whatever, you make things harder on all of us. Then all of us get pissed off and we come after you. And you end up like your sire there, staked and baked. Comprende, kiddo? <laughs> right on. Next, humanity. Being a vampire isn't the end of the road. You think life was hard? Just wait. Now you're half beast, half man, and it ain't quite an easy fit. You're gonna be fighting that beast for the rest of your days, every time you get into it. Whenever you kill an innocent, you feed the beast a little more, and it grows a little stronger. After a while, the beast can take over, and you'll go wild and have to be put down like a rabid dog. So, you know, fight it. Don't be a homicidal maniac. That'll help with the masquerade, too. See how it all comes together? Ain't that nice? Now, with all that said, you still have to keep your ass alive. For that, you're gonna have to feed. That little blood sound, kiddo. I imagine you're feeling that thirst right about now, huh? Get it where you can, however you can. Just remember the first two lessons. Don't let anyone else see you feeding. They'll flip out and cause you to break the masquerade and cause some bigger, badder vampire to come stomp a mud hole in your ass. Also, drink deep, but don't drain them dry. See, that's giving in to the beast. You do that, you lose a grip on your humanity, and you lose control. There we go again. It all fits together. Easy. Can you dig it? Righteous. Now, ship off like a good little soldier. If you pull this off, come downtown to the last round, and I'll tell you how jacked this whole situation is. But until then, <laughs> good luck. Or maybe I should just say, uh, nice knowing you, kiddo. <laughs> Hello, L.A. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to... <laughs> The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Okay. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, moe, moe. Caller, you've got the first shot at bed tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? How do I open doors? Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you up so late? How do I open doors? God damn it. This is embarrassing. Uh huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. How do I? Uh, how do I door? I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? God uh, damn it! How do I door? Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's how I do this. Right, that's locked. This is the only way to go. Stuff keeps breaking, I don't know. God damn fucking screen tearing. You got, you got some change, mister? You got some change, mister? So you 
can't give him money if you want to. How do I feed? How do I feed? How do I feed? I hit the feed button. So I need more blood than he has in him, so I have to... Nobody saw that, which is great. Alright, cutscene. That's what you mean. Oh, shit, you're a Malkavian, aren't you? Damn, that's the last thing I need. I'm bleeding all over the carpet. I can't even understand what the hell you're saying. I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is broken through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. The guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks. Hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, call my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money, too, that prick. Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach, on the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. You gotta, you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in, I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, and I can help you out. So I don't know where to get. Can't open that door. I don't know where to get fucking medicine shit. So he's probably dead. I 
I had a mini map. I mean, I don't know that I don't. I just don't remember the. Hey, baby, looking for a date? For you, honey? Fifty American dollars. Best money you'll ever spend. I promise. That's the same hobo from last time. Getting these graphical glitches. Ah, Jesus. Looks... No. For a vampire. I don't know how much I should tell you that. Oh man, damn! It would be awesome to talk to someone else on the inside. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh man. God, fanboys are the worst. Oh damn! You're talking all this crazy shit. Oh man! I bet that means you're Malkavian, huh? I know a little about you guys. Your heads are like messed up, right? Like how to elect the crazy, you know what I'm saying? It was <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh man! I knew it! I just oh geez, I knew you were I just could tell like oh man, this is great! And I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> hey man, just because I'm a ghoul and you're some cool vampire, you don't need to treat me like crap, okay? Oh man, I'm so agitated. Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, a human gains a little vampire power can heal up quick and that kind of stuff jeez oh man and they're cool and ooh watch out alright oh man I really wish I could tell you but I don't think I'm supposed to but it's really cool to be talking to you just well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires, oh man, well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up, <laughs> you know? It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I want a secret mission for my master. Well, hey! <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man! You know, important stuff to do. <laughs> okay, that was...
Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. What the hell are you blabbering about? Go over there and wait your turn to be seen, please. All right, go on back. All right, which back? There. Yeah, okay, I get it. Crying, crying. you do? What did you do to me? That's right. I, I guess I'll look for the blood stain. There we go, yeah. Yeah, don't... Look, buddy, don't look into it, okay? It's a city, bad shit happens. Okay, I don't have the fucking... Uh. Alright, nah, God damn it, that wasn't the right... I don't know where the fucking medicine is. Apartment has medicine something. No.
looks so bad. Yeah, right. take. Why do I even, why do I even get this? Like, I don't eat. So I know I gotta go back to the... I'm being dumb. I know I need to go back to the fucking... Uh... I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. Nurse, I'll be in the bathroom. Nurse, I'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> Nurse. <laughs> that took care of my I don't know how to do inventory check my inventory you need to figure a lot of shit out please Stock sound effects, man. Nineties ass computers. This game came out in two thousand four, so everything's dated as shit. But you know, whatever, it is what it is. The most meaningless sentence ever. Pointless, not meaningless. Can't call it that way. Jesus, this is going to be tearing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but ah, oh, God, it's getting really aggravated. I'll just try and stay. It seems not as bad in third person.
right. Okay. Who the fuck would make that? No. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh. But isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Jack. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what'll it be? If you have to ask. All right, I got. How much money do I have? Okay. All right. It's up here. I mean, I have pills, but the fuck are they for? Look here, you're not dead. No, he's not. <sighs> Do I, what do we what does he need god damn it uh. alright so where is the fucking Existence. 
I think it's because like I'm, I'm running at like higher settings as this game was originally meant for. So it's like, yeah, see, like the frust, the frustrum is higher than the, uh, oh Jesus, well, that's just screen tearing right there. Frustrum's higher, lower than the actual screen size. It's fucking everything up. Not everything, just, you know, it's a peek behind the veal. Where do I get the drugs? I guess he, I guess it's the goddamn thing, but All right. Yeah, I'll call it quits for here just till I figure out what the fuck I need to do.